SpaceX, the Tesla Model X, X AI. I don't know very many people who might say they have a favorite letter, but with Elon Musk, it's very clear, it's X. And now, Twitter joins the ranks of the billionaire's other companies as its name switches to X. But while the name is new, the URL x.com isn't. It's the latest chapter in a story that Musk started more than two decades ago. I think x.com could absolutely be a, a multi-billion dollar bonanza. Here's why the previous x.com didn't stick and what its past can tell us about the app's future. Oh, X, X. Yeah? You will be the letter of the day? Oh, you bet I will. <laughs> <laughs> Musk launched the original X.com in 1999 as a banking site after selling his first startup, Zip2. X.com, in his conception at that time, was going to be the one-stop shop for financial services. Jimmy Sony is the author of The Founders, a book about the beginning of PayPal. He spent six years interviewing Musk and his colleagues about the early days of the company. He thought it was, as he put it to me, quote, the coolest URL on the internet. I thought, well, if we can combine all, all types of financial services in one, uh, so you can have like mortgages, like basically all your, your entire financial relationship seamlessly integrated together in one place online, that would be cool. According to Sony, Musk thought X.com had advantages. It was short, making it easier to type into a browser and helpful for naming different products. X as a digit, as a, as a variable, allows you to say X checking, X PayPal, X loans, X this, X click, X that. So the idea was that X was a kind of hub and from it would emerge all these other financial spokes. But this vision for Musk's site didn't pan out. In 2000, X.com merged with Confinity, the company that owned PayPal, a peer-to-peer -peer payment product. And founders Musk, Max Levchin, Peter Thiel, and other executives disagreed on several things. One was the name. Some of the X.com people believe that X is a touch salacious. It's a little confusing. It's even sinister. They hear this directly from customers. Money was also a problem. The company wasn't making a profit yet and was reimbursing customers who had been defrauded online. The PayPal folks, the Confinity team, Max and Peter's team, are saying to themselves, listen, we don't have a lot of runway. Fraud is very, very high. The economy is clearly collapsing, and we have this successful product called PayPal. We should put all our eggs in that basket. Musk was eventually forced out of the company and temporarily left behind X.com and his ambitions for the site. But he came back to the URL. In 2017, Musk repurchased the domain, tweeting that it held sentimental value to him. He held on to it and held on to the ideas for 20 plus years, and now he is trying to bring them back to life. Musk says that the PayPal that emerged in the years after he left the company didn't match the vision he had for X.com. If PayPal had executed the plan that I wanted to execute on, I think it would probably be the most valuable company in the world. Yeah. Um, it would be called X, but it would be the most valuable company in the world. He told the All In podcast last year, prior to his purchase of Twitter, that he wanted to create an app that emulates WeChat from China. If you're in China, it's basically, you kind of live on WeChat. It does everything. Um, it's sort of like Twitter plus PayPal plus a whole bunch of other things and all roll into one with actually a great interface. And it's, it's really an excellent app. Purchasing Twitter opened up another chance, but this time Musk had more to work with. When Elon talked about why he was buying Twitter, he saw it as jump-starting his grander ambitions for X. And with that acquisition in late 2022, he was getting a huge user base that had already grown accustomed to coming to Twitter on a daily uh, basis. Musk said in a tweet that the shift to X reflects Twitter's expanded capabilities since he took over the site. Saying the name Twitter made more sense when it was just 140 character messages going back and forth. But he and Twitter CEO Linda Yaccarino hinted at a future for the site that could look more like Musk's original vision. Advances in tech since 1999 could help X succeed where X.com failed. I think that when Elon was trying to do X.com in 1999, most people were dialing up to get their internet. Web pages loaded super slow. There was no mobile app ecosystem. There was no iPhone. But some of the problems X.com faced in 1999 are still a problem today, like the name. It's not clear exactly 
it, what the rights are for X as a company uh, going forward, not just in the US, but around the world with various jurisdictions. And it also, it's one of those things, it's not clear what the user is gonna think of it as. Is this a dirty website? Or is this going to be the world's greatest financial institution? And money is still an issue. The site has struggled to win back advertising dollars it lost during Musk's takeover, and it took on billions in debt during the sale. Plus, attempts at a super app haven't taken off in the US, and regulators have voiced concerns about social networks dabbling in finance, like when Meta attempted a crypto payment system in 2019. The US uh, has rules in place to protect uh, consumers, and there's a lot of hurdles and steps that involved to become a bank or to become a financial institution. So that's one of the things that Elon Musk will have to uh, deal with as he kind of expands what X uh, is or what it wants to be. X didn't comment, but people familiar with how Musk works say not to count him out. This is me, uh, curling a 45. Oh my gosh. While there are lots of really smart people out there who say uh, being able to replicate a super app here in the U.S. is impossible or really hard to do, you kind of get the idea that he's looking to prove them wrong, that he's going to be very excited to show what he can do. Now, if he's successful, that's still the question.